After the overblown yet underwhelming Avengers Age of Ultron, I began to wonder if Marvel had lost its magic. Certainly I didn't expect their final Phase 2 feature, Ant-Man, to be the project that rekindled the studio's spark. Between my Marvel misgivings, Ant-Man's troubled production history, and the intrinsic silliness of an obscure microscopic hero controlling itsy bitsy bugs, although naturally I hoped for the best, honestly, I expected the worst. Just a few minutes into the screening though, I began to suspect that I was watching something special, a film that seemed to border on Guardians of the Galaxy great. I crossed my fingers that it wouldn't let me down. And it didn't! A movie that leaves you grinning, excited and hungry for more, Ant-Man is by far the best film of the summer silly season. Marvel's mojo is restored. Straight superheroics aren't enough anymore. Age of Ultron proved that. The Winter Soldier worked, I think, because it wasn't just a superhero movie. It was also a very cool Cold War spy thriller. Likewise, Ant-Man works because, besides being a cracking comic book romp, it's also a very slick, stylish, and above all else, hilarious heist movie. The mashup serves it well, keeps things fresh, gives the film personality. The tale of a light-fingered rogue who's enlisted by a crusading inventor to steal game-changing tech from a bald and booable bad guy, Ant-Man's cast is its secret weapon. Paul Rudd's a revelation as the roguish hero, trained to use a supersuit that gives him astounding powers. Michael Douglas is pure charisma as his mentor. Corey Stoll's a villain whose stature rivals Iron Man's Obadiah, and the supporting players are equally engaging. Full of laughs and surprises, Ant-Man is sharp and exciting, inventive and deep down satisfying, with startling 3D visuals and moments that provoke spontaneous applause. You'll love it! Join me next week when I'll be reviewing Arnold Schwarzenegger's zombie drama, Maggie. Please, before you leave, take a moment to subscribe. Excelsior!